Hello everyone, my name's Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is our little corner of the internet where we talk about fountain pens, inks, paper, writing, journals, just about everything that has to do with writing in longhand and in expressing ourselves. I'm coming to you from my library, which is a perfect spot to do this. And today I want to speak about something very important, something that I have received a lot of benefit from in my life. It has really transformed me. And that, believe it or not, is journaling. Okay, so today we're going to speak about journaling. So if you already journal, I'm sure there'll be some of these ideas that you will agree with, you might disagree with some, you might learn something, you might have something that you can teach me. So feel free to let me know in the comments what you think and what you think differently. I love hearing different perspectives. So as I said, I have got so many great benefits from journaling through the years. And mostly this comes down to the fact that you are able to map your mind over years of activities. That's basically it. Each day you present a piece of yourself, you write it down in detail, and you're able to track that over many different months and years. I have 20 years of journals back here now. So I see a whole progression of ideas, of activities, of goals, and things that I set out to do for myself that I accomplished or haven't accomplished yet. So that's all very important. So let's get started. What is it that you need to do to journal? And what benefit do you get from it? So the first thing you really need to do is to carve out around 15 or 20 minutes a day to sit down with a journal and a pen. And that's it. You need not go any further than that. Now, how will you spend these 15 or 20 minutes? Journals are great for somebody who lives a life of ideas. So you are being honest with yourself and presenting certain ideas and certain things that you're working on. If it's career related, you're writing all of that down. This is what I want to do. This is how I do it. And this is how I can map out a plan to get there. So here's the most basic thing, how to get started. Write the date. That's the first thing. Go on from there. The date is important because you want to track these things. Sometimes write the time if you want. But get it down to where you know where you were at that time. Okay? So the next thing you want to do is maybe just say something about your day. Hit the important highlights. We all do things every day. Our kids learn to walk. Um, things happen in the world. We accomplish things at work. Write all of those down. That doesn't have to be the only thing you write down. I think that's more of a diary if you're tracking that. That's okay too. Um, I do quite a bit of that. A lot of my journal is the tedium of every day. And a lot of it is spent saying how wonderful my family is and all the great stuff we do together. But also with that are certain goals and ideas. And these are the things that I think can really help you to elevate your life to the next level. And to do it, by yourself 
and not with any external support necessarily. This comes from you being honest with yourself within the confines of your journal. So one of the tough things about a journal is you're being honest and you're writing down who you are and what you're doing. Some of what you're doing may not be the best in your life, may not be the best for you. Maybe you're drinking too much and you're not reading books that you want to read, or maybe you're not working as hard as you feel like you could because you're being distracted by things. You can see that once you commit it to paper. It's amazing how confessional people are. Even in regular conversation with someone, often their criticisms and the things that they're hurling at you or, or that you hear them speaking about other people are just projections of their own insecurities. People are constantly confessing what their fears are and what their motivations are and what how they feel that they are lacking in things. And I feel like we're all doing that. So if you write these things down, you can track a narrative and become a better person by seeing how you have treated people over time. Because I think the key to happiness is treating people better, making better connections with people, and taking care of your friends and family. And you can really check on yourself within the confines of your journal. That's one major benefit of writing these things down. Now, another benefit is if you live a life of ideas, maybe you write articles and you need constant ideas to feed your imagination so that you're constantly creative. A journal is a great place to write down the random thoughts, the shower thoughts, the driving thoughts. You know those times when you're not really being creative, but creative ideas come to you, it's a great chance to jot them down in your journal and to expand on them later when you have that 15 or 20 minutes. That's a great benefit to a journal as well. Another thing is, say you're really into film and you're very passionate about watching movies. You can watch a movie and as it haunts your thoughts for that few hours afterwards or a few days if it's a very good movie, Maybe you can use your journal to write down different themes and ideas. How did the director use aspect ratio and cinematography and, and what kind of allusions to other literature and other films were within the confines of this piece of cinema? All of that can go into your journal to help build your techniques for evaluating film or whatever your pursuit is. So another important use of a journal is for mapping out your bigger goals. So some of these things that we want, whether it's retirement, a house, or a new car, require some careful planning, and they involve very large numbers. So if you break it down by the month or the week, you can get a better grip and handle on how to accomplish these goals. And you can also hold yourself accountable so that you're on track to succeed in whatever it is that you're trying to do. That's a very important use of a journal. So how has journaling really transformed my life? It's really the 20 years of reading how I handle conflicts, how I handle my connections with people, how I treat the people I love, the people who I work with, all of that. I was able to fix some of the things that I feel I did wrong and able to actually become a better person by seeing where my failings actually were and how those consequences played out over time. All of that is within the narrative of those books. And that is a tremendous resource for a person to have. I mean, not only is it just interesting to go back on certain days, like the day your daughter's born or 9-11, that horrible tragedy, and to see what your perspective was, that's really interesting and compelling. But the real power of journaling is to see the narrative of your own life how you are evolving as a person to be able to step in and to make adjustments and to really transform who you are so that you're a better friend, a better dad, a, ver a better all-around person. 
I have found it very beneficial and I hope you do too. I'd love to see how you journal. Can you let me know if any of this speaks to you and if you are doing any of this already? And if not, will you adapt some of what I said today? In any case, I appreciate you staying while I spoke. I love having these discussions with you guys. We're a very small group of people here. We few, we happy few. So I sort of feel a good connection. A lot of you I keep speaking with in the comments. I really like that. It's not like this is some giant channel. I doubt it ever will be, but I truly think that we all can have a nice little community where we work on things to just be better writers, better creative people, and just better people all together. So thank you for making it to the end of my video. I'll be back next week with something new. And until then, take care, and I'll see you further down the road. Thank you.